bit strong. Having a tantrum because your Facebook feed is full of bit strips. Good day to you! Here is a picture I recently posted to uh, Facebook. As ever, I am riding the zeitgeist of social media, having posted this about three months after everyone ceased to care. Um, yes, so I, I'd, I'd seen lots of people complaining about this thing called bit strips on the internet, but had no awareness of what it was. For some reason, it hadn't entered my field of view at any point, so I had to look around and saw that there were these just little cartoon things people posted to their Facebook pages and thought no more of it, but lots of people were getting very angry, very, very angry about these and shouting about how they would kill everyone who ever posted a cartoon on their Facebook page. Um, so I made the funny picture, matter of opinion. I made the picture, posted it, and of course the, the instant reaction was everyone assumed that I was very angry about the uh, bit strips things as well. I, I didn't care. So of course suddenly there was a rash of people hilariously tagging me in bit strips cartoons they uh, had made, which made me shrug with mild indifference and carry on with my life. I still haven't blocked them because I just don't care. Also to be fair, I don't seem to know very many people who actually post the things. It doesn't seem to be the sort of things that my friends do. That's fine if you want to do it. That's fine if you don't want to do it. That's fine as well. Um, the thing that entertained me most about the whole affair was not the people getting unnecessarily angry about um, the posting of the bit strips themselves, so much as the people getting stupendously angry about the people complaining about the bit strips. So that the, the people posting an, an, an innocuous cartoon saying, oh, I've just had a bun. I'm so down with the youth um, saying, I've just had a bun, because that's what the youth do these days. Um, and then there were people getting angry about the fact there was a cartoon appearing on their Facebook page. And then there were these people getting very angry at them for getting angry. And there were people just very, very self-righteously telling other people that, that you could just block these things if you really must. And I wondered how far down this went. Were there people getting angry at the people who were getting angry at the people who were getting angry? Um, there may well have been, I ceased to care. There are, there are more important things to care about than whether someone you met once in a pub might have posted a cartoon online him dancing badly, or whatever, or eating a bun. Um, it, it does make me wonder, are we that bored that we need to look for things to be angry about? If you're that bored, there's plenty out there. There's the Daily Mail. If you want to be angry for a reason, there's the Daily Mail. I don't need to say any more than that. Don't, don't go and look at the Daily Mail, that's, that's, that's not good for anyone. It's, it's not good for you, it's not good for humanity. But if you want to be angry, find something worthwhile to be angry about. Have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Or morning. Goodbye. Very angry.